Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. This is uh, another RetroBat video, uh, this time around how specifically to install Wii U. Um, so again, yeah, I've done a few of these on different systems uh, based on sort of requests that I've had from people in, in the comments and on, on the Facebook group and within Discord. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. So like I said, I've got this, um, I've been using for these different demos around adding to different systems. I've got the an install of Retrobat 511, which is fairly, fairly new install. Um, what I've really done to it is, is use it to install or add PS3 and Dreamcast, as you can see there. So, to add Wii U, uh, come into the Retrobat menu, and SEMU is the emulator they include for this. So we'll just hit select on here. Again, you don't have it, you can install it. Say yes goes ahead and downloads the latest version for you and stores it into that RetroBat uh, emulators folder and then just there you go see so it opens it opens it for you here um, and again once you've got it open here you can change some general settings you know, the graphics and audio um, on my system I know Vulcan works pretty well I'll change that to Vulcan uh, and then obviously your input settings so you can come here and, uh, and set your controller again I don't have my controller connected at the moment but if it if it were, was connected obviously you'd see it here and I'd, uh, I'd select it and and connect it in um, so, so yeah so that, that's that's semi the emulator installed so we'll just close that for now um, and then Let's have a quick look at the game I've got. So I've got a game to, to demo with this. And in this case, it's a Mario Kart 8. So I'm just going to... just probably quicker, like, do a cut and move. Again, into the Retro about ROMs folder. There'll be a Wii U folder down here. And pop it into there. Now you find with, with the Wii U games, um, they'll be in this kind of layout. Obviously, not all of them will have DLC, a, a downloadable content, and some of them, you know, most of them will, but not all of them will have an update. So basically, with, with Mario Kart 8, you've got the main game here, uh, this content bit, this is where the majority of the games live, so all the files for the games. Um, and then in this case, we've got an update file, so obviously where Nintendo or Whoever it is that makes the game have released an update, a patch for it. Here's a copy of the uh, of the patch, uh, and then also here is a copy of uh, any downloadable content. So, something like Mario Kart, they also release extra content for it, extra tracks, I think, and maybe characters. Uh, and a copy of that is in here as well. So, it'll, it basically, the emulator can use them and basically add them all for you and and make sure the, it runs the latest version as well, the update version. So. That's, this is generally the format you'll you, you find the Wii U games. Um, and then the most important thing to make it work is the, the BAS file. It's not, although it's not really a bar, BAS file, um, what it is actually is this keys.txt. So you'll find when you first install the emulator. So we go up to RetroBat Emulators and SEMU. It's installed it here. You've got a keys a keys text file. Um, so they're basically a bunch of bunch of keys, these numerical um, or alphanumerical string, which is used to uh, um, basically decrypt the contents of, of, of the disks. Um, so you, basically, this is just a sample file they they give you. And again, I can't can't give out the uh, the file or say where to get it, but obviously you can do a Google search or look on archive.org, something like that, and you're you're looking for this. Uh, which are these product keys. So this is looking the right place. This is what it looks like. So keys.txt. So I'm going to take a copy of that. And you want to put it into your semi folder here. I'm going to overwrite the one that's there. So this is what it should look like. Oh, do big. Yeah, a whole bunch of uh, 
over these these keys and they all relate to a certain game so basically the keys you need to basically decrypt and, and run the game so somewhere in here oh, not that one Here's Mario Kart. We've got a couple of keys here for the, the US version, PAL version. So basically, th this is the, this is effectively similar to the BIOS file you need to make the Wii U or the SEMU emulator work. So once you've got that copied into the into the folder, um, you should be good to go. So, right, so we've got SEMU installed. Um, I think we just need to. Go to game settings, update game lists. Say yes. And now we can see Wii U. Uh, and then actually to add it, it's similar to PS3 where you create the um, uh, the playlist file. So I just exit out of here while we're doing this. That one. Exit. So let's go back to in the folder. If you go into the ROMs, like say Wii U, it's obviously I put the Mario Kart one in here. And so like you say, so it's created a game list, it's auto scanned in um two two files there which we actually don't want and recreate that. Good again. So this is this is how it works. Similar, similar to uh, PS3, like I say. So it's looking for the the RPX file. Is the kind of the, the file that um, launches the game. So we go to Mario Kart game and code. It's called Turbo RPX. So take the path to it. I think by default it looks in the ROMs. We ROMs folder. So I think you find all you really need is the is that part. Like I say, it looks looks in this Wii U folder by default, so it's going to look under Mario Kart game code, and then it's actually Turbo RPX. So we're like I say, we're pointing at this. There's Turbo RPX in the main main game code folder. So let's close that. But just to I guess just for information. So within that, that playlist I know we've obviously made it correct. We wanna rename this to Mario Kart 8 and take the text extension off the end. So it becomes M3U. Uh, just, just to confirm, so this leading dot tells Windows to look in start, basically start in the, the current path, the current location, which, like I say, should be the, uh, the Wii U, the ROMs Wii U folder. It's going to tell it to look for a subfolder called Mario Kart 8, etc. So let's give that a try. So retro bats. So let's look under Wii U. Yeah, so it's, that's the one we've added. Obviously, these are the two that auto discovered before. So what we can do is just hold down select, edit this game. I think if we say delete, it actually deletes the. Uh, yeah, it would actually delete the actual file. So it's easy just to say, make it hidden. Same for this one. Edit the metadata. Take it hidden. For the Mario Kart 8. If we look at this. You know it's the right one because you, it's looking at the Mario Kart M3U. That's good, we like that. Uh, didn't make any changes. Now I hold down again. Let's get the scrape. And give this a second. Right, 
So we're going to go for it and launch it, see what happens. It has launched full screen. And there we go, it's running. Like I say, all you, all you need to really do is set up your controller and obviously change any any graphical settings you want to change inside the emulator. Uh, and then you should be good to go. And I can control it with the... Uh... Oh, yeah, I can control it with the keyboard. So, yeah, it works, works quite well. And again, this is a, another one where you potentially get um, compiling shaders when it first runs for the first time. Let's see if we can just, just show that. Obviously, again, I'm running it in a window here so you can see it easier. Put it on default to full screen. So this might be a little bit jerky because I'm sort of recording at the same time and I don't know what the keys are. Uh, but there you go. So that's playing quite well. Yeah, so I haven't seen the message about compiling shaders. Um, so maybe they've changed it. Don't know. Oh, terrible with the keyboard. But anyway, you get the idea. Oh, no, I do want to quit. Thank you. So we'll just exit out of here. So, yeah. Nice and easy. That's Wii U. Uh, like I say, the, the, um, it's fairly easy to set up. The key thing is getting that. The, the, the keys.txt file, the product keys. Um, like I say, have a, have a research online. Um, you see what, what one I have looks like. You just need to find find the cross one in one. Mine was roughly, I think, 256k in size. And, um, and it goes under Retrobat, under emulators, under SEMU. It's there. Keys.txt, yeah, 256k. As long as you got that, you're good. You're good to go. So, yep, another quick video. This was, I think, the quickest yet. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you add the Wii U and get it set up and running. Um, and yeah, I think, yeah, be back with another video shortly. Uh, obviously, any comments, let me know. Um, please like, please subscribe, please spread the word. I'm you know, desperately trying to expand and grow the channel, get, you know, get as much interest as possible. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.